And we are here on the Now Morning Show on TTT, also on Talk City 91.1 FM and TTT Live Online. With me this morning, I am joined by the very Reverend Shelian Tinia. Well done, sir. And I am also joined by Janai Branch. And they are here from the Holy Trinity Cathedral, and we're going to talk about something that is going on there. Now, you, with, with the recent earthquake that happened, the church suffered like quite a bit of damage. Yes, we did. So tell me a little bit about the, the damage that the church suffered. Sure. So at, on August 21st, with the earthquake and the aftershock the day after, we basically had to shut down the church. We could not go back in for services and have not been in. And so that's what makes um, Sunday so special because we're going back in. When you say However, you have not been in, how long has it been that you've not been back at the since church? Since the day since of the August day. 21st, we have not been back in the church for service and worship. We've been worshiping outside under a tent um, and at the City Hall, for which we are deeply grateful um, to the CEO and the mayor for their generous hospitality of okay. us. But that's what has been happening um, because we, uh, we experience both external damage and interior damage. And so we've spent the last three to four months actually repairing that damage, which okay. is what um, allows us to go back in because the repair became necessary to ensure that the building is safe for us to go in and have services because we do not, while we love the building and love right. worshiping in it, we have to ensure that people are safe. Mm -hmm. And so we wanted to be sure that that would happen. Yes, definitely. Did you happen to be there, Janai, when the earthquake occurred? No, on God, I was not. <laughs> um, but like Reverend Tanya said, um, everyone is excited to return because this is, you know, our landmark. This is our home. This is where our heart is. And um, so it's very special to us that we're going to be Yeah, and it's a beautiful there. structure. Mm -hmm. it is. You know, um, what is the what was the extent of damage in regards to cost? The cost to repair is is estimated about one point four million. That's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. <laughs> and we've been out of the church at that like for that amount of time, Correct. so we haven't been able to use the church. So, is there anything in regards to fundraising to raise that type of money yes. for the repairs? Yeah. So <laughs> actually, that we've been. Asking for donations here and there, but come this Sunday for our annual harvest Thanksgiving, this is our chance to go big. Um, so we there will be stalls available. Um, there will be entertainment. There will be a kids' corner. There will be photo booths. So everyone, there's something for everybody to do. What type of entertainment are we talking about? Um, we have a DJ. We probably have some. I don't want to give everything away, but we will probably have some um, like someone singing, dancing. Um, yeah. All right, the very Reverend <laughs> Shelly Ann, <laughs> Tina. Um, so the date is on this Sunday, yes. this coming November Sunday. November 25th. November 25th. Mm -hmm. um, is there anything more we need to know about the harvest itself? Yes, so we begin with a sing-along at 9.30 and uh, the celebration of the Eucari Holy Eucharist will begin at 10. Our chief celebrant and preacher will be the diocesan bishop, who is the right Reverend Claude Berkeley. Uh, and so we re it's open to everyone. And so we're really encouraging everyone and anyone to come out to the celebration. And because it's a harvest, um, we will have special items like the procession of our gifts, which is a special procession. And we will be having baptisms in the context mm -hmm. really? of the... Yes. yes. So we will be, we'll be having some baptisms, which is what makes it so, so special. Yeah, that is so special. It's, it's Thanksgiving. Not about just it's, fun. It's, that's uh, correct. Yeah. It's, it's, it's about, about the life. Sacraments as well. Exactly. It's about the sacraments. It's about our gratitude for all that God has done. And for people to get a sense of the cathedral, we have taken off all the Portland cement. So what you right. see is the pure limestone. The original that, The structure. original mm -hmm. limestone. Mm -hmm. That building is a living archive. Mm -hmm. It will tell you the history of Trinidad and Tobago in a way that you cannot read in a history book. Yeah. People will see limestone that came directly out of Laventil, because that's where the quarry was in the 1800s when that building was being built. And so 1800s. we're stepping into Laventil. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm serious. I mean, right. when you see it, it's just, it is magnificent. It really is. And I mean, it's raw at this point. We still have some more work to do. But I mean, it's repaired to the point where we're safe. And so we can begin to worship. There's a process that will follow um, sometime later in the new year, which will be the process of restoration, which is restoring and um, rehabilitating everything that's in there, which is beyond repair. It is mm -hmm. really trying to get it back to uh, its um, 1825 
kind of glory in that sense. That's when it was founded, 1825. Yeah. Correct, so correct. A, a and rich history there. Correct. So we will celebrate um, in, two in 2023 our 200th anniversary of dedication. Oh. That's how long that we've amazing. been there mm -hmm. and we've been doing ministry. You don't look like yeah. 200. Ah, <laughs> true, very true. And I think part of what is significant about the day as well, the 25th of November, it's actually the first day of the 16 days of activism for the elimination of violence against women and girls. And so it also becomes an opportunity for us to kick off our response to those mm -hmm. activities because that's the nature of the church. So we consider the cathedral the mother church. And so it's a meeting space. It's a space for prayer, but it is also a space for healing. And what you said there is very important, the mother church. Yes. yes. So you know you're helping the mother out. That's and, correct. And getting everything back in order and restored to the way it should be. Correct. All right, correct. so this morning with me was the very Reverend Shelley Ann Tinia and Janai Branch, mm -hmm. and they were joining me from the Holy, Holy Trinity, Trinity Cathedral. <laughs>